What is going on fellow islanders? Today we've got Cooking in the Kitchen episode 3. We're going to be making a Lamal elixir using the oil and the new perfumers alcohol that we have just received. So, so far so good. We've made the Noir Extreme, we've made the Helfetti and I'm really happy with the results and they're only going to get better over time. So, what we're going to do is crack open the decant of elixir. Put that upside down so it doesn't spill everywhere. So we've got about 20 to 30%, a little bit more maybe, of uh, oil in that decant, which means, you know, it's not going to, it's quite heavy. That's probably the easiest way to describe it. It's going to be quite heavy, which I don't like. So the next time I cook these up, I'm going to use a lot less, a lot less uh, oil. Sorry about the flash, by the way, I'm out of battery, running very low on battery. But I hope you can still see, bring it up close, got the Lamau Elixir oil and the alcohol going in. Oh, honestly, you can smell it straight away. And that is enough alcohol. Let's see if there's any last little bits to squeeze in there. The reason I'm trying to fill it up as much as possible is because actually I want to dilute those oils as much as I can because I don't want it too heavy. Let's chuck this lid back on. We'll give it a little shake. I think I overfilled it. Nope, it's still dry. Good. Lucky. Give it a little shake. They say you sh shouldn't shake it, but I want to mix it ASAP, you know. Give it a little shake. Give it a little shake. So I've got Noir Extreme on one hand, Halfetti on the other. So I'm going to spray this on clothing and actually, at least it will last a bit longer as well. Oh, so the first spray just came out and it was super oily, super heavy. So like I said, I can smell that though and it smells great. Let's spray some in here so you can, you might be able to see. Okay, that came out a little bit better. I did get some on the palm of my hand. Let's get my um, forearm a little bit. That smells so good. It's a lot clearer. The ooh, clarity is there, the notes are coming out a lot more, definitely. It, it definitely does make a difference having that alcohol in there. It's not as heavy, the notes are a little bit more um, airy, the individual notes kind of stand out a bit more, but still really oily. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the oil glistening on there. It's not very, it's not focusing very well, there we go. Very, very oily, so I think I need to reduce the amount of oil that I uh, put inside my decant. But overall, we'll give it, give them all a few more days. But damn, that is good. They've improved so much better. So much, much massive improvement just having them mixed with the alcohol. So full review to come after a few proper wears. As you can see, the color difference is still quite evident. But yeah, the fragrance and the notes have come out a lot clearer and a lot more um individual sort of standing out which is a lot better a lot better but yeah full review to come soon stay tuned and yeah this is this is better with the alcohol so actually i think you kind of you might end up saving money by buying your own alcohol then buying the oils separately and then making your own little bottles i think i don't know i haven't done the maths but it makes sense if the small uh, vial of oil three mil say you do 10 percent, so you can make a 30 mil 30 mil uh, spray for four pounds maybe. It's pretty good, I suppose, plus the alcohol. But still, I think it's still good value for money. I'll update you as soon as I can. Thank you and see you soon. Goodbye.